the Fresh Prince used to say, we're getting jiggy with it. I'm Craig Charles and I'm doing autographs after the show. Warning, if you have a nervous disposition, then don't worry, you're probably not the only one. And after an introduction like that, you know that once again we're journeying to the East to riddle and fiddle with our Eastern Beast. Whoa! Coming up, it's getting sticky in the honeycomb maze. It's getting tugged in sumo rings. It's starting to get wet in skipping stones. And it's not meeting in the middle in Bridge the Gap. What is it? It's Takeshi's Castle. He's a man's man and a lady's favourite. His name is General Lee and he G's up his 100 frenetic Asiatic fanatics for the character building minefield of tasks they have ahead of them. In this the gorillas are really sorted from the cheetahs and the whales. We'll see the usual bumps, bangs, gashes and splashes on our way to the final showdown. Will we see a winner though? I'll be able to tell you in about Eight half an hour. General, come on! First up, it's the Great Wall. One hundred contestants. Only eighty-eight can go through to the next round. Teamwork required there. I wonder what they're getting out of that. Helping each other over the wall. Inadequate clothing there. Inappropriate as well, I'd say. You're not going to get over like that. See you next time. 88, though. They rise to the challenge and face the honeycomb maze. Also known in eastern shores as the famous chipboard jungle. You've got to get from one side of the maze to the other. Come out the door that leads to dry land. You go through. If you don't, you won't. Of course, the guards. Black-handed, black heart. That's the wrong door. You're out of the game. Gelly. All right. Let's see what the chaps can do. <laughs> Absolutely awfully. Oh, he comes back from the precipice. But he's getting chased by the guards. Oh, so close. But no, he's caught. He gets the Al Jolson treatment. He crawls out on his hands and knees looking for his dignity in the soil. You can't be too scared. You've got to go for it. She avoided the water. Got onto the bank. I'm not quite sure if he's dressed for it. I'm not going to be able to tug his shirt though, are they? Straight into the drink. Look at the bits floating in there. It's disgusting. Shipped in from a pig farm in southern Japan. I'm sure we're all aware of that by now. Come on. We haven't got all day, lady. She doesn't know what she's doing. I think she's confused. Heading back to where she started from. Leading the guards. Oh, right into his clutch as she escapes. Oh, she's leading them a merry dance at the moment. No wrong door! Never mind. She really wanted to avoid that. With a little frog on her head. Of course, the frog would say that that lady just started out as a boil on its bum. Oh, he's gone through! For my ridiculous replay, let's rerun this crazed up challenger who was quite literally an expert at choosing the wrong door. Maybe he needs some guidance. 
He won't be tying on his nappy with the other 76 maulers, because they're up for sumo rings. You pick a ball, you fight the man in the corresponding coloured robes. You've got poker. Nothing but a purple nappy and a belly full of beer, this lad. Just wait until it's... He's got the strength. A bit low on agility, though. Get out. Nearly snapped them in half. He's gone. What a bummer. You've got Spud. You've got to win this. Spud's only ever won a couple of bouts. He's inside. Spud's gone over again. Look at that. Just moves out of the way. Let's his weight and momentum do the business. He's gone. He's gone again. Gets the yellow. Got to be happy with that. The yellow streak of Cowley cost his fight. Look at him. He should be able to mash this wily little fella up. So no, no, it's over. <laughs> the guarded yellow cannot move our contestants. Got a good grip on his nappy. Picks him up. Oh, that looks painful. Oh, brought tears to his eyes. That turned that nappy into a thong. He's got his glasses off already. He probably can't even see her. <laughs> She's got the weight advantage, but he's got the skill and the experience. Let her own momentum carry her over and carry her out of the competition. <laughs> Look at the eyes on that potato. Oh, Spud fell over without anybody's help. <laughs> Pathetic effort. Here we go again. Cowley custard cutting the mustard. But whose flush was busted there? Custard gets it. Hey, let the small talk, General Lee. She's pulled the porker. The purple porker. There he is then. <laughs> making easy work of this, making light work of it. I bet that's the first time that's happened to it. But let's check this clip out for my ridiculous replay. What a couple of yellow leggings. What a couple of yellow losers. Join us in part two with the remaining 53 campaigners. When Ride the Wave and Bridge the Gap will be asking questions of our challengers. <laughs>
<laughs> a putrid lime green goes out before it started, really. Taking a shot from the cannon there. Of course, in the first series of Takeshi's Castle, they use real harpoons. They have to stop that. 16 competitors lost their lives. And there was an outcry. Oh, he's going over these. Oh, it's all jiggledy wiggledy. Oh, he couldn't, couldn't last. Never mind, he's gone. He's happy. Not sure about the headgear. It's like a Roman candle. Oh no! These are whales at the moment. Come on, you can do it. Oh dear. They've solved the mystery of those enigmatic whale noises, by the way. It's simply krill. Whales eat a hundred million of them for breakfast. They're like microscopic prawns. Come on, let's face it. You're bound to get a dodgy one. That's what those noises are, it's just indigestion. Oh, avoiding the cannon fire. Yes, riding high and riding through. Let's check this for my ridiculous replay. It had to be this confused contestant who should have said she didn't know how to ride before she got on. Next up, the game that puts hopscotch to shame. It's yeah. skipping stones. Come on. Some of the stones move. The others firmly implanted. You've got to get from one side to the other without breaking your leg or your neck. Losing some teeth. She's out. She's happy. She gets to go home to the nice warm room and matron. Oh! Bit of a groin strain there, I'd say. Oh, he recovers, but no! Couldn't get his balance back on track. Ow! Ooh, bet that one winded her. She goes out the game. It's in the bum bag, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously not a compass. Oh, she recovers. Well done. Bang the shin there. He's still in the game now. <laughs> he just jumps off. He doesn't want to know. He was still in the game there. He thought, I don't want to continue. Ow. <laughs> game is just purely sadistic. Gotta check out this for my ridiculous replay. Arms flailing, legs akimbo, head spinning, going down and going home. Takes me back. We're left with 33 bewildered battlers. The bridge of the gap. This game is not as easy as it looks, believe me. You have to get from one side to the other. Using the moving bridges. <laughs> Missed time that, didn't he? <laughs> Brought tears to his eyes. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Not quite sure of the significance of the white powder. Yeah. Oh, giant Q-tips, these moving bridges. Oh dear. Another one bites the dust. Literally, say what you see. <laughs> Lovely 
Lovely canary yellow outfit, this. Oh. That lovely canary outfit. She's going deeper into the shaft. Oh, she smelt the gas. She's gone out. <laughs> he wasn't set there. Balance all over the place. Ends up on his back in a bath of white powder. <laughs> Waving to the fans, taking time out, enjoying herself. Short lived though, you're gone. <laughs> Moving quickly along. Got a long time now. Before this bridge comes along, can he nail the landing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. He's gone. <laughs> You really have to compensate for the fact that the bridge is moving the other way when you step onto it. It's not so easy. Ooh, nice and casual. Oh dear, overbalance is right at the last there. Gotta check this out again for my ridiculous replay. He did more than enough to prove he's slightly unbalanced. Back to Ward. 2-2-3 two, two, for the lad. 15 impressive intrepids left for the ball pummeling that is Bridge Ball. Oh, sticks that in his jacket. Oh, his backside taking the pummeling there. He's gone. Captured in the net. I'm not sure either. It's far too tentative. <laughs> she drops the first golden ball. Holds on to the second. Can she dodge the cannon? Oh, she's moving with speed. Yes! Takes him in the back of the head, but she goes through. He's got a shiny red helmet on. He's wearing his wellies. He <laughs> shouldn't have got dressed at all. What a loser. Fell over before the cannon fire even started. So that this guy is going to overbalances and goes. Oh, she takes that one in the chest. Going for speed. Gets that one right up the bum. She's moving on. Well done, the girls doing really well at this game today. Another lady through. What's he doing there? He's about to answer a call of nature. Oh dear. He's going commando now. Oh, and he's taken some, some pummeling shots from the Emerald Guard. There he is, floundering in the net. <laughs> that one right in the gunnels. All <laughs> right in the head. Oh dear. <laughs> Doesn't want to expose himself, really. Oh, right in the face. He's taken a good beating. But he's trying his best to right himself. What's he going to do now? He's dropped the golden ball. And he's out of the game. 
see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, especially in that shell suit. Let's see this again for my ridiculous replay. One of the few times that going down on all fours doesn't do the trick. He won't be seeing us in the final showdown. But before then, let's look back in anger at the furious flashback and remind ourselves of the lows and the very lows of today's contestants. Oh! Car park, it's the Mata final showdown. General Lee waits for his eight remaining warriors, yes, eight, to be sucked out of the pipe so he can give them their last dressing down. It's like supermarket sweep this bit. Into the shopping trolleys, come on! Here we go. Each of our dinky dodgers has a ring on the front. The Emerald Guard have water cannon. You try and stop your ring being penetrated by the accurate Emerald Guard. Well, you can do that. Last the course. You go the distance. You storm the castle. And you win. You don't. You don't. Caught there. Out the game. Emerald Guard trained for this non stop, but out there on the firing range with their super soakers. All the contestants have are ineffectual little pistols. Oh, I don't believe it! Yes, it's penetrated! No winners this time on Takeshi's Castle! Life really is full of surprises! But as my old dad used to say, I don't care whose it is, just clean it up before your mother gets home! Sayonara.